Welcome, Congresswoman Presley. I appreciate your reading uh, a little bit of my bio, but all you need to know about me is that I'm your sister in solidarity. <laughs> the most important thing. You know, Maya Angelou uh, once said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. Yes. We have known exactly who Donald J. Trump is for a very long time. Trump, he has been consistent, driven by ego, and pro can y'all hear me? Yes. All right, let me make sure now. As I was saying, the incredible poet and social justice warrior Maya Angelou once said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. We have known exactly who Donald J. Trump is for a long, long time. He has been consistent, driven by ego and profit, void of humanity and compassion, committing crimes and cover-ups in broad daylight. No strategy, no empathy, no moral compass. However, to be disappointed in a man, you must first be surprised. <laughs> and Donald J. Trump's reckless behavior comes as no surprise. Right. So today, I won't waste any more words on him. Instead, I will focus my ire on the Senate Republicans yeah. who have failed and the American people. Shame on you, Mitch McConnell. Shame on you, Senate Republicans. You stand firmly on the wrong side of history. You have chosen the side of a bigot over the destiny of our immigrant neighbors. You have chosen the side of a reckless dictator over the safety of our troops. You have chosen the side over, of a narcissist over the will of the American people. And we will not forget this betrayal. In this democracy, you are still accountable to the people. And the people are furious. Yeah. However, mad as hell. we will channel and focus our righteous rage on the pursuit of justice. Woo. Today is a sad day. It is a devastating day. But we will recover. We will rebuild. The Democratic House majority will use every tool of congressional oversight. I want you to know as I summon the spirit of my forever chairman, Elijah Cummings, everything. <laughs> who challenged us to be an efficient and effective pursuit of the truth. Our job is not done. Right. And we will continue to hold this administration yes, we accountable. Will. Yeah. Yeah. We will remind Donald J. Trump and the Senate Republicans that we see right through them, yes. and so do the American people. Yes, we do. And I know that folks are tired. No, we're not. Well, I'm just going to tell you, even if you are, that we don't have the luxury of stopping, and we don't have the luxury of allowing cynicism or complacency to take home or make root in our bones or our hearts because people are depending upon us and so we will continue to organize and to mobilize and we will remain in partnership with one another and the people most impacted by the draconian oppressive xenophobic and racist policies of this administration 
And we will continue to underscore that our destinies and our freedoms are tied. Right. The story of America is a story of the marginalized and oppressed yes. standing up and fighting back against abuses of power. Yes. Time and time again, we have done this. And today our resolve is only strengthened. Yes. Our work continues because we, the people, are powerful. Yes.